All right, g'day there. Richard Musgrave Evans here again, and welcome back. Today, something a little different, gonna mix it up a bit, back down on the coast, in amongst the mangroves, with a few shacks off in the distance. Just a nice, simple little study. Okay, now as you can see, I'm working with the pallet knives again, oil paint, and I've just put a few marks in to get me started. Okay, now, I'll get into it. All right, biggest differences today is, that tide is going out really quickly, so I think I'll get that in. So, luckily the tide's going out because I'm actually parked where the water comes in, so it comes in handy that it's not there at the moment. So I'm just gonna put the weed color in, which is a kind of a nice purpley color. Straight away changing up, I'm gonna go for the sky now, so I'll go for some Cobalt blue and a burnt sienna. The burnt sienna will key it down near the horizon. See what I'm mixing? Yeah. Needs a little bit of yellow ochre in that. A bit more white makes it quite a neutral sort of colour. It's got less strength down there at the horizon with the coastal haze. Well, I won't quite touch yet. I don't want to smudge that. Horizon. It's a nice clean mark at the moment. So just get that in like so. Push that paint down, there we go, look at that. Now I've done that, I'll just go for a bit more of a burnt sienna and yellow ochre and white mix here. Just going to introduce a little bit more of that colour, that hazy atmospheric colour down low. Then I'll go for a cleaner colour, a little bit more blue and white, less of the uh, less of the burnt siennas and whatever. So it's a bit darker and it's a bit cleaner. Trying to stand out of the way here, I reckon I'm okay. Okay, now a bit more white and blue. But she's gone darker and cleaner as it goes up. Right, now, Got the cobalt blue again, but I'm going to use a bit of magenta just to make it a slightly red blue as it gets higher up. Let's have a look at this. That's about it, I think. Let's have a look. Get that in. There we go. Slightly darker, so I've got a bit more blue and magenta again. White. Mix, mix, mix. That's a nice dark blue at the top, a beautiful sunny Australian day down the beach. Okay. Just get those edges going, nice and neat. All right, now with this knife, I can just blend those colors together like so. Just to gradiate as it goes down. Just bring them all together. So it's got a consistent gradiation as it goes off into the distance or up into the heavens. There you go, look at that. Right, I'll just stand back and see what I've got. Okay, now a bit of beach sand colour, so that'll be, what is it today? Burnt sienna and white, with a bit of yellow ochre. That'll be... a low tide mark. Let's 
rub that in now. Just going to introduce a little bit more richness. So I've got burnt sienna and cat orange. A bit more burnt sienna. Just richening up, getting all those lovely rocks that we're standing on all in. Getting rid of the white as quickly as I can. Okay, so that's all going in. Just got to always make sure I'm out of the way here. Yeah, not always easy, but I'll give it a go. Putting that little headland out there. A bit more burnt sienna. Cat orange. Pull it through. Gonna mix up some pale blue here. Just painting the shallow waters there. The tide is moving fast, unbelievably quick. All right, so a little bit of magenta, white, Bit of blue for the distant hill there. There's a bit of a hill on the horizon here. Just a bit deeper tone, so I'll go magenta with a bit more blue. Making it up as you go. Up some darks. It's a bit of a coastal breeze coming along. Hopefully, this microphone's working. Okay, now I might just get another piece of towel. Another piece of paper towel. What do we got here? I'm just going to bring that horizon line down a bit now. Just wiping the knife clean each time, bringing it down to the water level. I can also go the other way and take it up slightly. That gives you that beautiful razor sharp edge. All right, now yellow. Green, burnt sienna, more yellow ochre, more burnt sienna. It's very lightly touching. Lightly pulling through, just getting some of those mangroves in. Shadows there, pulling back to get back to the shadow tone here. What do we have there? That tide is changing unbelievably quick. Stand back and have a look. A 
Why? Just using the CAD orange and burnt sienna. Magenta and blue. Just going to stand over this side for a minute, pick out some of those shadows. Okay, there's some nice buildings in there. There's some nice buildings, so, uh, little shacks and whatever, so I'll throw some of them in. Hang on, before I do, I've just noticed something else. Always work around the subject. Just gonna put in that nice beach sandwiches up there. something so I'll go do it now. And pull that headland out further like so. I'll get uh, some of those buildings that I was talking about in. White. Tiny bits of cad. Let's have a look here, what do we got? Just painting the rooftops with white. And a little bit of cad yellow. Just to give the feeling of the sunlight. Now you can get the knife, slightly bigger knife that is, and just pick back up on the underside to straighten the underside of that roof out. Gives you the feeling of that sharp edge of the roof and then the shadow underneath. Plenty of white, half mixed. A few more buildings in here and there. You don't have to be exact with all where the buildings are because you're trying to create a pleasing composition. So you move it around till you get them in the right spot. Gonna stick a bit more of that beach sand in, which is rapidly gaining as the tide goes out too, mind you. There's plenty of pale blue where the uh there's a bit of a coastal breeze today where the uh, wind cannot hit right on the edges here. You're getting that beautiful pale blue reflection of the sky.
into the shallows. I'm just throwing some of that in. Straighten that horizon a little bit. Alright, well that'll do, just a quick simple study of uh, down the mangroves, down the beach with a few shacks. Pretty much got it all there, so uh, let's go get the camera off and we'll have a look. No worries, thank you.